A continuing look at some of Central Illinois' unsolved mysteries. News Channel 20 Shaw McLaughlin is here now with a case that has baffled investigators and a Springfield family for more than 25 years. Well, Susan, it has been a 25-year emotional roller coaster for a Springfield family. In the spring of 1974, Mike Burns and a friend went off to Mexico. Mike never came back, and his family hasn't heard from him since. It's one of Central Illinois' unsolved mysteries. There's no wall plan. A pile of old pictures and newspaper clippings, a yearbook, and this letter dated April 1974. The only clues the Burns family has about what happened 25 years ago. Michael Burns and a friend drove from their home in Tempe, Arizona to Mazatlan, Mexico in late April 1974. It was supposed to be a vacation, a brief getaway. The friend lost touch with Mike in Mexico, and Mike hasn't been seen since. I think kind of immediately I started worrying and suspecting that something bad had happened. He wrote, or he called, and it stopped. And we've never had a letter, a phone call, anything since then. The family says the possibilities are endless. Mike went to Mexico with a little bit of cash in his pocket and a brand new car, something that may have left him a victim of thieves. There's also the possibility Mike could be locked up somewhere, unable to call home. Right now, I'm hoping that that's where he's at, is in a Mexican jail, you know? and. But I've heard horror stories of torture and, you know, down there people will kill you for 50 cents. The search for answers has been long and frustrating. The family contacted lawmakers and local police hoping someone would be able to contact law enforcement in Mazatlan. The Springfield police say investigations like this one are tough, and they were even more difficult 25 years ago. They're real tough for us because most of the investigation takes place by telephone or faxes or any other type of communications we can establish with Mexican authorities. Um, the, the, over the year, you know, the, the, what generally happens is we can take the missing person report and then we can start an investigation here, but as soon as it indicates, the investigation indicates that it's going to be uh, in another state even or even out of the country, um, it gets significantly more complicated. Closed door, nobody doesn't know anything. The family says in the many years since Mike vanished, there have been plenty of tips, none of them leading to answers. You know, you get a hope up and then it kind of falls by the wayside, so several times, you know, they just didn't pan out. That's all. Mike's mother says the hardest part for the family is no sense of closure. I hear people complain all the time about funerals, you know, and I thought, well, at least you've got something tangible. You know uh, what's happened, you know. Uh, it, it's kind of difficult. This weekend, the family will take a big step toward putting some closure on this mystery by holding a memorial service. Mike's brother says it's to pay tribute to his brother's life. Despite the service, he says the family isn't giving up on finding out once and for all exactly what happened to Mike Burns. He can show up tomorrow, he can show up in 20 years, or he, may not, he might not show up at all, you know. But until we have a positive confirmation of something, we are going to believe that there's still a possibility that he's still alive. And we do. Now, the family has been in contact recently with federal investigators. The one hope they have tonight is that investigative techniques are much more advanced now than they were 25 years ago. Other than that, they always keep a close ear to the phone, hoping someday that phone call will come. Now, that memorial service is set for this weekend, Saturday, 6 o'clock, at St. Al's Church in Springfield, but again, they really want to point out it's not a funeral, it's just really sort of paying tribute to the life he had. Thank you. Fascinating story.